Hey guys, this is Ken's 97 Stow 171. I want to show you a new toy that I got today. I actually bought this at Pet Boys Auto Parts Place. Uh, happened to see it on the counter last week and did some research and decided this was the camera I wanted to use uh, to shoot some vlogs uh, on the motorcycle. Uh, also probably going to do some trucker uh, vlogs with it. This is the GoPro Hero model. Uh, it's the wide model. Uh, you can get more information at GoProCamera.com. They've got all kinds of stuff there. Um, it is a 5 megapixel camera. It will shoot 56 minutes of video onto a 2 gig SD card. Uh, it records at 512 by 384 at 30 frames per second. It is a fixed length focal lens at uh, it's 2.8 focal length. It's a glass lens, 170 degree uh, wide angle. I'm sure you can tell about the wide angle lens because any of the sharp edges in this room here they look curved. Um, so this camera is definitely not good for just like taking pictures. It is really designed to be used outside on a motorcycle where everything is kind of far away and it gets a nice wide shot which is a problem with a lot of digital cameras. You get a pretty small window of view. The, the materials this thing is made out of is actually really nice. It's got kind of a, a soft rubbery feel even though it is a hard plastic. Uh, it runs on two AAA batteries. Uh, they will, you're supposed to use, they recommend you use lithium, disposable lithium batteries. These things are expensive, it's about 10 bucks for four of them. Uh, best information I found was that they're supposed to last like six to eight hours of recording with the lithium. I'm using nickel metal hydride rechargeables. They're a lot cheaper, I can recharge them and they're still going to last longer than the 56 minutes to record onto the card. So that won't be an issue for me. There's a little microphone here on the top. Uh, sound recording is one of the things that I've heard is not great. It, it's, uh, it has two settings, high and low. Uh, the low should be used if it's going to be in a high vibration, like directly mounted to a car or a motorcycle. Uh, if it's going to be mounted like on a helmet, then you can use the high, the high setting. There's only two buttons on this camera. The front one here turns it on and off and also cycles through the menu options. You have a choice of straight just taking pictures. It will do sequence, very rapid sequence shots, like three shots, you know, instantaneously in a row. You can set it to do take a picture every two seconds, every five seconds, and then of course it will shoot video. It will continue to do shooting the video once you set it to take a picture every two seconds or set it to start recording video. It will continue to record video until either the battery runs low or the memory runs out. Uh, you press the, button, the shutter button on the, on the top, stop and starts record, and obviously to take a picture. I'm going to use the camera actually to show you what some of the stuff comes with here. Uh, it came in this very attractive, very nicely made case. And I don't know whether how this is going to look here, but they're, uh, they probably could have reduced the price a little bit by using a cheaper box. Uh, but it is very attractive. It comes with lots of mounts. And this is where this camera is. The camera, okay, the camera was 200 bucks. Um, the primary thing is it comes with this polycarbonate case that is completely waterproof. You can take this underwater up to 100 feet depth. So it's great for divers, surfers, and of course it's great on a motorcycle because you get water splashed on, you get caught in a rainstorm, no problems at all. The way it mounts, you put the camera in there, and then you close this lid, and it goes like that, and then it snaps shut. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, but it's, it's actually pretty hard to do. And then it is completely watertight. They recommend you put a little Rain-X on the, the, uh, the lens there, uh, so that the water kind of just you know runs off of it. And it's interesting how they did the buttons. They actually, they're spring-mounted and go through the case but maintain the water integrity. This is one of the mounts that came with it right here. I'm not taking this apart because I got this all aligned for my helmet to use tomorrow. So but it comes with this mount here and then it's got this double jointed mount that mounts to the polycarbonate case. It has these, two more of these. And the way these work is they go the way these work is they get a slide in like that. 
and then it's mounted and then you just press that and push it back out. There are two types of these. The oval ones are completely flat and it may not look flat again with the wide angle lens. The square ones have a slight curvature to them perfect for mounting on like a, a helmet. Uh, and they give you an extra adhesive pad. There actually is another mount in here. That is another mount. You'd need to use a knife and cut it out, cut it off of there, and then use the extra sticky pad uh, to use it, but they, it's kind of nice. And it has a really nice suction cup mount. This thing is seriously powerful. Uh, it, it works best on a flat, completely flat surface, but what you do is you just do what it says. It says press. So you go like this, you press it down, and then flip the lever up like that, and it is very strong. This camera weighs nothing. Um, I think it weighs six ounces in the polycarbonate case. So you don't, I mean, there's not a lot of weight to cause any vibration issues. Uh, comes with a USB cable. Uh, the USB cable allows you to transfer the data directly from the camera to your laptop. It will also allow you to show video and movies directly to a television set right from the camera, which is kind of cool. Um, if you just wanted to show some friends or something without having to dig out a laptop. Uh, that is the one thing I don't like about this camera. I mean, it, it's definitely does some things really great from the reviews that I've read, but it does have some limitations. There is no LCD view screen on the back of this. All it has is a pass-through glass, you know, viewfinder like an old-fashioned camera has. And with the wide-angle lens, it's not really too big of an issue. I mean, if you can see it in the viewfinder, you've got it pretty pretty well aligned. But if you wanted to review the video or pictures you've taken, you got to take the SD card out, get to a laptop, or you know, use the cable to get to a television set. Um, kind of annoying, but I really needed something that came with all of these mounting options. I'm going to be putting it on a dirt bike possibly, put it on my, on my uh, 78 Honda, and I'm probably going to be doing some trucker video logs also. Uh, they've got lots of mounts you can buy. These, this is just, this is the motorsports version. There's a helmet version, they, 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 that's what they call it. It straps to your head, goes over the top, and the camera ends up mounting right on your forehead. So if you wanted a true first person perspective of whatever it is you were doing, it would be a great one. They make another one that mounts to your chest. Uh, they've got another helmet, one that has loops that go through like a bicycle helmet and can put it on mount to the top of the helmet that way. There's a wrist mount for surfers that you can, you know, a lot of guys, they'll mount one to the, to the surfboard looking at them and one on their wrist. So as they're going through you know, under the, in the tube of the wave, they get some great shots. And go to their website, they've got some great videos to show you what this camera can do. So the mounting options are really what sold me on the camera. I wanted the flexibility to do lots of different things with it, and the, being waterproof and durable was a major issue. Because beaten up on a regular digital camera, you know, they've got the autofocus lens in there, they really don't take well to being abused. Uh, so anyway, tomorrow, if the weather permits. we got some bad weather going on right now, but hopefully if it clears up tomorrow, I will get this hooked up on my helmet, take it out for a ride on the motorcycle, and give you guys a better view of what it looks like, you know, in daylight uh, and in outside. Anyway, that is it. Hope if you guys have any questions, you know, uh, I'll probably know more tomorrow. Talk to you guys later.